Hey GED students, I had a student, Charlene, send me a tricky little word problem. I wrote a similar one with the same numbers to give it a try for her. Didn't want to steal straight from her math textbook. But just looking at this, I just want to let you know that this is my second take of this video. I filmed this video the first time and I screwed it up. And not only did I screw it up once, I screwed it up twice because I wasn't a careful reader. I was sitting there looking at the answers going, huh? Why are there two right answers? So what I want you to know is if a math teacher <laughs> can be guilty of not being a careful reader, how much more so a math student? So we're going to be super careful readers as we go through this problem. Here we go. Maria has a picture of her cat Snooky that is 4.5 inches wide and 3.6 inches tall. Let's draw a little picture of this. So Snooky, oh Snooky. Let's see. Snooky's picture is a little longer, 4.5 inches. Then it is wide, 3.6 inches. So I don't know, Snooky must be like lying down or something. Ah, you guys can see why I'm a math teacher and not an artist. There's Snooky, meow. Okay, she wants to get an enlargement. Oh, I'm missing a letter. Spelling is harder than math, y'all. Yeah. She wants to get an enlargement printed for her living room that is at least 70 inches tall. Which of the following dimensions should she use to keep the image in proportion? Okay, so what are they asking us to do or to find? Well, two things. We're going to blow this sucker up and we want it to be at least 70 inches tall. At least 70 inches tall. So right now, how tall is it? It's 3.6 inches tall. We're going to blow that sucker way, way up if we're going to get it to 70 inches tall, okay? And um, we want to keep those enlargements in proportion. And this is really the key word here uh, that tells me what I'm doing for this. So super important to understand what it means uh, to be in proportion and whenever I think of something being in proportion, I actually think of um, how often we're on our computer. Because I use my computer all day long, you know, I use it to make GED crash course and videos. And so I'm always dealing with my computer. And one of the fun things I get to deal with is images, pictures. So you may have noticed when you have a picture on a computer, like I want to imagine, uh, let's see, Charlene, here's a picture of your handsome boyfriend. Okay, so you have a picture of your hand. He should have some hair. He's not bald. Okay, so there's your handsome boyfriend, and um, he, uh, you've got this picture of him, and you want to make it bigger, right? We have some choices in how we go about making things bigger on the computer, you know. You could grab the little tab right here and kind of pull it out that way, but the problem if you did that, you know, if you just pulled it wider, you would stretch your boyfriend's face till he looks super funny, a real distorted, not quite as handsome as he used to, so you wouldn't want to do it that way. You know, or you could take the little tab right there and pull it up that way. But then, of course, you'd stretch your boyfriend out this way. Now he looks real tall and handsome. Yeah, but still not in proportion. He doesn't look like he used to look. We want the picture to get bigger, but we want it to, we want it to happen by the same ratio uh, up as it goes out. We want it to get as many times big as it does wide so that your boyfriend looks the same. Okay, so what we do on a computer usually is we pull the corner this way, pull it out that way, and then we see the image increase the same rate that way as it does that way. And then that bigger picture still looks the same. It's the same basic image, just larger. Okay, so that's what I mean by in proportion. Now, that was a whole lot of talking for, you know, how do I do that mathematically? So basically, proportions are just equivalent ratios. They're just equal fractions. That's equivalent ratios, equal fractions. If things are in proportion, they make equal fractions. So we can make fractions and that's what I kind of just like blindly started doing the last time I recorded this problem, but there were actually two that made equivalent fractions, but were wrong for another reason. I forgot to look at this thing. The first thing we wanted, we want it at least 70 inches tall. So let's start there. So we had said that this cat picture is 3.6 inches tall right now and 4.5 inches wide. Okay, now I want it to be at least uh, 70 inches 
tall. So I know right away I can reject this answer because even though that one does happen to be in proportion, it's the exact same relationship. The relationship of 45 to 36 is the same as the relationship of, as of 4.5 to 3.6. You know, it's just both numbers are 10 times as big. Even though the same, it's the same, it's not at least 70 inches tall. So I could just disregard it right from the start. And there was another one that was not 70 inches tall and I missed it. That's why I have to re-record this video. <sighs> what I didn't notice was A. Take a look, A says 70 inches by 56 inches. And you might say, Kate, that looks like 70 inches tall to me. And that's what I thought too. But what I didn't notice was the way that her dimensions worked. You know, Maria's picture was wider then it was tall. So the bigger number has to be the width and the smaller number has to be the height. Or I messed up the proportion. I distorted my picture. And so even though this one is 70 inches wide, it's only 56 inches tall and we wanted it at least 70 inches tall. So this one's actually too small too. So cool, I've got it narrowed down to just two of them. So my goal is to find out which of these two is in proportion, it makes an equal fraction uh, to the one presented in my word problem, 4.5 to 3.6. So the way I'm gonna do it is the lazy girl way. I've got my calculator on me and I know that anything I can make a fraction of, like a ratio, I can turn into decimal form and it's way easier to think about decimal form by doing the implied division. 4.5, the relationship of 4.5 to 3.6 is like 4.5 divided by 3.6. So let's do that. 4.5 divided by 3.6 gives me this relationship of 1.25. Basically just meaning the width is 1.25 times bigger than the height. Okay, and let's check my other two relationships to see if they give me the same decimal or a different decimal. So let's do 87.5 to 70. 87.5 divided by 70 gives me a relationship of 1.25. Hey, that looks promising. And let's try the other one. A 90 to 68. 90 to 68. Ah, close. Ah, close, but not exact. That one gives me a relationship of 1.32, about there. Almost, but not quite. That sucker would be a little bit distorted. The cat would look a little funny. B is the better answer. Not only is it big enough, it is in proportion. It has the same relationship. And Charlene, I know you're going into film, so this is definitely gonna be important to you because you're gonna be dealing with images a lot. This idea of being in proportion. All right, if anybody has any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.